All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to replace the battery on this 15 inch MacBook Pro model A1398 mid 2015. So first thing you're gonna want is a Pentalobe 1.2 or a P5. And then you're, always, you're also going to want a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. Um, it'll also help to use a thin metal pry tool like this. That's very flexible, but it's not sharp. You don't want a knife, okay? You don't want something that's gonna cut into the battery. Um, another method people use is they use some floss. If you do that, you want to wrap the floss, um, the floss around something like some chopsticks or something or popsicle sticks, something that won't cut through your hands. Anyways, let's go ahead and remove the P5 or Pentalobe 1.2 screws. You want to keep them in order. I do that by putting the flat side down like this. In the pattern, I remove it. So we have this rectangular pattern. We're just going to remove all the screws and put them in that pattern. All right. If this video helps you, make sure to like, subscribe, and share my channel with others so that they can also learn how to upgrade and repair their devices. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Once I reach a certain amount per day or month or whatever, um, I'll actually stop bringing that up. So the quicker you guys do that, <laughs> I'll stop mentioning to like, subscribe, and all of that, because then hopefully it'll just naturally happen a lot quicker. Anyways, <clears throat> let's go ahead and continue removing all these screws. As you can see, the battery is actually like inflated here, so it's pushing the cover up. So you want to be careful. Hold the cover down when you're pulling this or undoing the screws, so that way if the cover does fly out, it doesn't launch your screws somewhere else. All right, so just holding this down and as you can see the cover is popping itself up all right so anyways let's continue removing the last two screws all right last one and then we're gonna start prying stuff up okay so we got all those screws out now let's just remove the bottom cover here Normally there's these clips and you'd have to pull it up. Wow, here you can see how inflated this thing is. It's really dusty and dirty in here, so I'm actually gonna clean that first and then we'll be back here. You can see all the dust and dirt. The lighting makes it kind of hard to see, but it is pretty dusty and uh, dirty in here. All right, so I'm gonna clean that up and I'll be back, see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back, cleaned it out, all right. Use a toothbrush, loosen the dust, and then I use an electric air blower. All right, so now we're gonna disconnect the battery. So to do that, let's go ahead and zoom in here. All right, so here you can see the battery connector is here. You wanna get underneath here and then you pull this up. You wanna go from both sides. I use my fingernails to do that. Um, you can use whatever works for you, plastic pry tools, but I find fingernails work best. And then you just kind of wiggle this and pull it up just like that. All right, so now you can see the battery is disconnected. All right, after disconnecting that, it's always a good idea to open up the computer and then press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to drain any residual power. This will make it a lot safer to work on and a lot less likely that you'll damage your computer. Of course, you also wanna keep yourself grounded so that static doesn't get built up. I have my leg touching my metal desk to help prevent static from building up, but you can use whatever works for you. You can use those wrist straps, all right? It helps to also be barefoot. All right, so now that we got this disconnected, we're gonna have to disconnect the trackpad cable as well. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna use the T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. Let's go ahead and remove the two screws holding this metal plate in place, okay? Again, keep all the screws in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. If you mix them up, you can damage your computer. All right, so we got those two screws out. I'm gonna take the metal plate out and move that aside. All right, then we're going to peel up this piece here. So we're gonna peel off this adhesive strip from the battery connector and the rest of this area here. All right, if you can get this foam pad up with it, that's the adhesive. Okay, so I'm gonna peel that up and here you go. So we got this foam pad. We're gonna transfer this to the other battery <clears throat> it's not necessary, but it's nice to just have that. All right, now we're gonna pop up this connector. I just go at opposite corners like this and then pull it up. 
And then we're gonna slowly peel this back. If it's taped down, you wanna make sure to keep this flat. You pull it this way as you kind of lift it. And I like to keep my finger here so that when the adhesive runs out, it doesn't just yank the connector out. All right, I'm gonna pull this up here now, and then we're gonna disconnect this part of the connector. Just flip this latch up here, just like that. Once you do that, grab hold of this connector, and then we're gonna just pull it out. There is some adhesive under there, so it is gonna be a little difficult to remove but just pull it out and there we go. We'll set that aside. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna remove four more screws. So we're gonna remove these two speaker screws with the T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. All right, just like that. And then we're gonna remove the other two screws on this side, same thing. All right. <clears throat> If you're using the floss method, <clears throat> you likely won't have to take these screws out if you can manage. I've tried the floss method and it was, I wasn't um, able to do that or it's a lot more difficult for me. So I just use my thin metal uh, pry tool. We're gonna also remove these two screws, forgot to mention that. So these hold down the um, battery. I don't know what you would call that, the control board. All right, so let's go ahead and remove those two. All right, so there we go. Now the battery connector, you can see, kind of comes up. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, we might have to clean these a little bit, so we turn this sideways. We're gonna lift this speaker out, all right, just slightly. It is still connected underneath the motherboard, so make sure you don't just yank the whole thing out, otherwise you'll just crack it. And here you can see there's a bunch of dust there, as usual, so I'm gonna clean that off and yeah. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Looks like the inflated battery is making it a little bit more tricky, but uh, let's see what we can do. Can I lift it out with this? Yeah, this this side is kind of stuck because of the inflated battery, but uh, just do what you can. All right, try and get this up. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna brush this off as well. This is the speaker's air intake. It's all clogged with dust. All right, so there we go. All right, now that we got that cleaned up, we're gonna take our thin metal pry tool. And you want, if your tool at the end is kind of curved, I don't know if you can see there's a slight curve, you want the curve pointing down so that it doesn't scrape up into the battery. All right, so we're gonna get underneath the speaker here. Then we're gonna just push the tool here underneath the battery, just like that. We're gonna work it pull it back out, work our way over, do the same thing, pull it back out, work our way over, and we're just gonna do this onto the whole battery here. Okay, just like that. Sorry if it's hard for you to see. Let me move it over a bit. Okay, just like that. And we're just gonna keep working our way down until we get this battery pack released from the board. There we go. So here we can see we can lift that up can now let that speaker drop down. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the next battery pack here. Just get the screwdriver, um, sorry, the scraper tool and push underneath to cut the foam adhesive, just like this. Again, you don't want a sharp tool because if you use a sharp tool, you could end up cutting into the battery pack, which could possibly cause a fire. All right. Then once you get to this last corner, since we can't really get the tool over because there's a raised um, screw post there, we're gonna go sideways like that and then we're gonna slowly pry it up just like that. Man, I think these things actually are already busted. I can smell the lithium stuff. You don't wanna smell that. <clears throat> it smells kind of sweet, but it's, yeah, it's not good for you, it's toxic. So try and avoid inhaling those fumes if you can. It's good to do this in a well-ventilated area, all right? Let's continue working our way and get this battery out as well. All right. Okay, you wanna be careful not to break the speaker. I keep bumping into it, but be careful because if you break that, you have to take the entire motherboard out to replace it. All right, it's not a fun repair. All right, so, yep. Continue cutting the adhesive here. All right, we got that one out. <clears throat> now we're gonna continue working our way over for the next pack. Same thing. Okay. 
This one seems like it's coming out a lot easier. That's nice. We're gonna work our way over a diagonal again. And then let's go ahead and pry that up. And there we go. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and cut through the middle ones. It's a little bit trickier because it's raised slightly up um, for the trackpad. So let me see if I can show you this. So underneath here, if you were to just go straight in, you'll see it hits that metal plate. So you wanna raise it slightly up to get underneath the battery pack and go there. And you also wanna be careful not to um, damage the cable connectors here. This one is not as bad um, because we already took out the trackpad cable and the keyboard connector is all the way down here. So as long as you just make sure not to go into the motherboard, then you'll be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this battery pack out as well. So we're doing the same thing, just working our way down. Okay. This one's also somewhat already coming up. But okay, we got to a difficult part. Okay, we're just gonna keep working our way over. Just like this. Okay. And then you want to be careful also that you don't end up hitting into this uh, trackpad area. Let me zoom out a bit to make it easier for you guys to see. Okay. But we're just going to keep working our way over, cutting through this adhesive. All right. And you want to make sure when you're cutting it that you're pushing the tool, not slicing sideways. All right. Because if you try and slide the tool sideways, there's a good chance you'll cut through the membrane or the outer layer of the battery okay all right so there we go i think we got all of this one there's a little bit left all right so there we go let's go ahead and move over to the other side let's flip this over and continue doing the same thing let's get this out all right Again, you have to lift this slightly up. Okay, and then we'll continue cutting through the adhesive here. Our way down. slicing through that adhesive. Okay. All right. We're just about there. Double check. All right, and I think we're done. So let's go ahead now and rotate this. All right. And then we're gonna lift the battery packs out. Okay, so just lift all of this up and then slide it back this way. I'm gonna set that aside. Now we have to get all of this stuff out, which I think this adhesive is the one that just tears. So we'll see, hopefully it will peel up. If it doesn't, then we're gonna have to use the metal scraping tool to do this. So let's try and scrape this out. All right, so it helps to scrape that, and then if you can, peel off the adhesive here. Okay, so this one slightly lets me peel it, so it's that's good. It's not the kind where I have to completely just scrape all of it out. At least I don't think so. Okay, so we're just gonna get all this adhesive out. All right, this is a long, tedious process, but I keep all the video in just in case the customer kind of wants to see what had to go into repairing their computer. Okay, just gonna peel this off. All right, 
peel that off. Okay. All right, let's get in here, scrape that up, and then peel it up. Just like that. We're gonna have to clean all the remaining residue off with rubbing alcohol. The more you can peel off, the better, because it leaves less of that residue behind. All right. All right, there we go. Usually the track, plaid, uh, the track pad plate is a little bit difficult to remove the adhesive. Let's go ahead and do the other side first. Getting there. Right. Now for the stuff that's on the trackpad, let's see if it will come out. Some of it's already completely gone, so that's nice. Alright, this stuff looks like it's going to be a pain. Let's see if we can peel it up or not. Okay, good. It's peeling off nicely. Not as bad as I was expecting. It's actually coming out pretty nice. Alright, some of that's not. Oh, there we go. this up. Oh no, it left a streak of the adhesive. That's going to be a pain. I'm going to try and 
roughen up the adhesive so it's easier to remove later. All right. Peel off that. Nice. Okay, so we got all the adhesive off. Now to clean up the residue. So to clean up the residue, it helps, um, you're gonna use some rubbing alcohol and then it helps to kind of just scrub it around. So I'll just get it in there. Okay, and then we're gonna scrub it up. Okay. Just like this. All right, and then you can see it comes out as a goopy, stringy mess. rubbing alcohol all over the remaining residue and scrape it up. Okay. See the residue's coming out. <clears throat> Let's get some paper towel and clean that up. We're likely going to have to clean it a little bit more after this, but let's go ahead and get that out. Okay, you can see there's still some residue in there, so we're going to get the propyl alcohol and put it on the paper towel, and then we're going to go ahead and just rub that to clean it off. Okay. Like that. As much of it out as you can. The better you remove this, the better the replacement battery will stick. And you want the battery to stick. You don't want it just rolling around in here. Okay, let's get some more rubbing alcohol in here. Put this on the battery residue. Same thing, we're just going to scrape out the residue. that residue as well. I'm going to try and use a clean spot of the paper towel to clean it up. Okay, there we go. Now let's get another clean piece of paper towel. I'm just going to fold it up, put a bunch of the rubbing alcohol on it. Okay, and we're just going to clean off the residue here. side as well. Alright, now for the tough part. This one has all these screw holes here so you want to be careful not to put too much um, because you don't want it to get into the trackpad and then damage it. Alright, so we're just gonna rub that in there and then you can actually use the tool and try and roughen it up. Okay, you can see the stuff is kind of coming out. up all that old residue. Okay, we need some more rubbing alcohol in there. Now 
helps to do it while the rubbing alcohol is still on it. off. I'm going to flip it over to a clean side, add a little more rubbing alcohol, and continue cleaning this. That, cleaning it all off. This takes a lot of elbow grease. This one's kind of stuck. I'll just scrape it up. There we go. Get another clean paper towel. Same thing. Get some rubbing alcohol on it. And let's go ahead and wipe it off. Okay. All right. Pretty much done. There's a tiny bit still stuck on this corner here. seem to want to come out. All right, let's go ahead now and place the battery. Okay, so we're going to get the replacement battery now. Let's go ahead and move this over. So the replacement battery comes like this. There's this plastic on top. You want to leave that on for now. And then we're going to peel this thing off. So we're going to just roll this back here just like this. Oh, that side's not coming out right. There we go. Make sure that stays stuck down on the battery. Okay, rolling this back. There we go. All right, next thing here. Oh, actually, we should do this first. So, um, okay, part of the adhesive came off, so let me stick that back on. Let me move this out of the way. this back on there. Okay. So for one thing we're going to do to get the battery ready, you want to actually fold this down. All right. So fold this part down like that. And then you're going to, in the middle, fold that back. Okay. Just like that, because this wire is going to be a little too long if you don't do that. So you want to make sure to fold that like this. Okay. All right, let's peel this back off. Is that, oh, this little adhesive strip doesn't want to come out, so I guess it's not going to work. I'm going to leave this. Oh, there we go. I can peel it off by hand. Okay, so let's stick this back on the battery. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. You want to be very careful with the battery. You don't want to like flip it all over the place or twist the parts. Okay. So you're going to grab the battery. Okay. And then what we're going to do, hold all the packs together. We're going to slide this down into place. You want to make sure that these screw holes line up. Okay. So it's a little bit difficult to do this while recording, but let me see if I can see here. Okay, and you want to make sure these are all lined up before you drop the rest of the batteries into place. Okay, so that's lined up. Now we can go ahead and drop the batteries in. Okay, and then you can go ahead and push it down. 
We're gonna now put these screws back in. So let's get the T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. And we're gonna get these battery screws on first. Okay, get that screw in, get the other screw, line it up, and then tighten that as well. There we go. All right, battery screws are in place. Let's go ahead now. Yeah, and we had to fold that down, all right, just like that. We're not gonna plug this in yet. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the screws in. So we're gonna get the screws for the speakers in first screw here, screw here, and then after replacing the battery, it's always a good idea to, or any major components on the Mac, it's always a good idea to do a PRAM and SMC reset. So I'm going to show how to do that as well. Oh, sorry, I was off camera putting that screw in. Okay, let's go ahead and put this one in. Now you're going to want to peel this clear layer off. The way you do that, you want to roll it backwards like this, you don't wanna pull it straight up because then it separates layers in the battery. Okay, so you want to just roll this back just like this. There we go, all right. And then you can either stick that on the old battery or just throw it away. Okay. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put back the trackpad cable. So let me zoom in to make this a little bit easier to see. So when you put this back, you want to hold on to the trackpad cable to prevent it from sticking down to that double stick adhesive. All right, make sure the flap is up or the latch and then get that cable in. All right, and push that into place. Once you get it in place, just slide your finger over the top to latch it back down. All right, then I like to prevent this from sticking back down until I get this plugged in first. All right, so get this lined up and then push it down, there we go. Once you got everything lined up and pushed into place, then you can go ahead from the middle, press it down and then work your way up. Um, the adhesive on here looks like it's probably coated in dirt so it's not gonna stick, that's okay. It's not really a big deal. All right, let's get this metal plate back on. Same thing, T5, Torx 5 screws. Get those in. I'm gonna loosely fit it first. Get the second screw, make sure everything is lined up, and then we'll tighten that one down. All right, tighten that one back down. All right, so now we got the entire thing connected. Oh, now we need to reconnect the battery. Don't forget that, of course. All right, so it helps to start with one corner. I like to start with the right corner, but let's see here. The cable's a little bit, needs to bend a little more. There we go. All right, so I like to start with the right corner here. Basically get that in. It's hard to show this on camera because we have to kind of twist it around a little bit. Let me see if I can. Okay, so we're gonna get that top right corner in first. All right, so here you see. And then we're just gonna work our way over and push the whole thing in. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna take that little adhesive sticker thing back and let's stick that on top again like that to cover it up and hide the screws okay and then we're gonna put the metal plate back on so this adhesive usually doesn't stick on too well but we'll just put it like that all right we'll get the bottom cover it should click into place now okay since now the battery is not bad let's go ahead and test it first do the PRAM and SMC reset okay so to do that we take the plug Plug it in. Okay, I'm gonna open up the screen. Usually it will go to orange. The battery shouldn't be 100%, so it should go to orange. All right, oops, I didn't wanna start it up yet. I'm gonna hold the option key and go to the boot options. So here you can see it's showing the boot options now. All right, so we're gonna do the SMC reset. You can do this while the computer's on or off, it doesn't matter, but you do control option shift on the left. Um, you do wanna make sure it didn't boot up. So it's best if you shut down the computer first but since I'm on this screen, it's okay. So we're gonna do control option shift on the left side and then we'll push the power button. The computer should turn off. You'll see it go to green and then back to orange. That's how you know you did the SMC reset right. Now we're gonna do a PRAM reset. So this model likes to turn itself back on. So I'm gonna hold the option again 
Okay, so I'm going to shut this off first by holding the power button. If it booted up to your account, you can just shut it down. All right, so now to do the PRAM reset, we're going to power it up and then immediately command option PNR. Right, you want to hold those keys. You'll hear the chime. All right, then it should shut itself back off. And then you should hear the chime a second time. The moment you see the screen shut off, you can let go or you can wait till you hear the chime a second time just to be safe. So there you go. And now we did the PRAM and SMC reset. So it doesn't remove any data or anything. So don't worry. It's not risky to do any to do it. It mainly resets like your brightness, the fan settings and other stuff that the computer remembers. So yeah, just run it. It's good for the computer especially after replacing any uh, major hardware components. So the computer's on, it's starting up, make sure it works with it unplugged. Yes, it does, okay. So I'm gonna shut this down now, and then we're gonna put back all the screws. Um, you do want to fully charge the battery and then drain it down to like 5% or so, and do that about two, three times, um, and then you'll get the full capacity. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and put back the P5 or Pentalobe 1.2 screws and that's pretty much it Hopefully this video helped you guys if it did make sure to like subscribe and share my channel with others Again, if it helped you save a bunch of money Please consider contributing a little to the channel every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living All right, you're welcome to stay as I put back the rest of the screws, but other than that, that's pretty much it All right Let's get all these screws back in. And if you're wondering, the two screws back here are shorter than the rest. So if you did somehow mix up all the screws, make sure that you put the shorter ones back here um, where the hinge are in the center. All right. Okay, let's get all these screws back in. weird probably because it was being pushed out from the other battery there we go all right and that's all there is to it thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one all right let's drop this spike